Hello YouTube. Today at a Goodwill near us, Lord of the Waffles 1229 and I say hi. Hello hello YouTube. Uh, we found at a Goodwill near us a TI-84 Plus graphing calculator by Texas Instruments. I really, really, really love graphing calculators. Like, they are my favorite kind. Um, so, in this video, we're just going to go over the calculator, uh, what we found in what condition, price, details about the calculator, and then we are going to compare and contrast it with uh, the calculator that I use most, the TI-83 Plus, right here. So we'll go over this one first, and then we'll compare and contrast. So, this is a pretty well-known calculator, so I'm sure many of you know what all of this does. But if not, uh, the on button's down here. Second on is to turn it off. Here we have all the, uh, the number pad. Operations and enter, down here. Uh, clears right here. The D-pad is up here. And then on along the side here, we and in this region, we have a bunch of special buttons. Second alpha, and then uh, most of these up here are menus. It's like math, uh, fraction and decimal converters, uh, cube roots, xth root, uh, the min and max of a, of a function, all those kinds of things. And then in here is uh, all your probability things, stuff like that. These are all menus up here. So if you go into mode, these are like settings. You can change from radian to deg degree in here. Stat is all the statistics stuff. You can edit your lists right here. Oops, you quit. Uh, second mode is to quit, get out of a menu. Go back to stat. Here's a. Uh, now you can find all your stats and stuff like that. The Z test and T tests, all those kinds of statistics stuff. Uh, program is. Uh, oh, these must all be on here. This must have been on here before we purchased the calculator. Uh, these programs you can edit, and make new, and execute programs. Uh, your apps, all these kinds of things. You can. You can download those onto your calculators. Uh, VARS, your variables, these kinds of things. Uh, function, you can ask, access the functions which are up here that you put in here. Uh, those are pretty much all the menus, I think. These are the symbol buttons for uh, XT, Theta, and N, depending on the, which mode you're in. If you're in function, parametric, polar, or sequential. Uh, your trigonometric functions are down here. Comma, parentheses. And then each one of these buttons has a function if you hit second or alpha. So like if I hit uh, second variables, it takes me to the distribute menu where I can access a bunch of things like binomial distribution, normal distribution. Those are all down here, see? Uh, all your lists are for easy access right here on the number keys by hitting second. Uh, the letters, you hit alpha and then uh, whatever the letter you want is or where it is. Uh, you can adjust brightness, I believe, by hitting second and then the number pads. I don't know if you can make that out. You probably can't. Anyway, there's that. And then uh, you're scrolling. Let's just say I do this over and over again. I want to scroll. I think I can be able to do that with... Maybe you can't scroll. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, and then up top here, we have all of our, our graphing buttons. So uh, here you can put in all your functions that you want. Adjust the window, the, the zoom features. If you want to trace along the function, and then the graph itself. And all these have second functions as well. With stuff like the table, you can make a table in here. Uh, view your table right here. All the calculate buttons, finding value, zero, minimum, maximum, all that stuff. Derivatives, integrals. Uh, your format menu, and then the stat plot is for statistics stuff with your lists. And say we want to graph just a line here, 2x plus 1. And there it is. Works perfectly. Uh, we put some new batteries in when we purchased it. Uh, we both absolutely love it. Uh, here are the ports here for the, the uh, Texas Instruments cord that goes with this. We, uh, I bought this a little while ago, but um, it goes right in here. So you can plug this in your computer uh, with the, I forget what the software is called, but that's compatible with this. Uh, here's a, is that a micro USB? Yeah, micro USB. And here's the back side we will show. Uh, here's the sticker where we got it from, the battery compartment. 
this calculator was manufactured in 2004. This, I found a copyright date on here. So, uh, 14 years old now. Still works perfectly. Absolutely love it. Uh, we bought this calculator at a Goodwill near us for $30, $29.99. Uh, I took a chance on it because only three of the four batteries were actually in there. So it was a little beaten up. I had to clean it up a little bit. There were some lead marks on here from the previous owner along the screen. I think things were drawn on here. Back side of the case, there were a bunch of marks and silver sharpie that I had to get off. Uh, but it all works well. So now I think we can finally compare and contrast this to the TI-83 Plus. It's right here. Some pretty drastic differences in looks on these calculators. The TI-83 Plus looks a little bit more, I don't want to say bland, but um, kind of plain. But uh, they both do the job. This one is a little more modern, obviously. Square shape as opposed to like a, a curved edge kind of thing here. The cases are different. Like, the cases are, this one's a little more curved. and This one slides uh, to the top, whereas this one slides the one on the 84 slides to the bottom. Okay. But all the buttons really are in the same spots. The number pads, operations, the menus are all up here. Trig functions, miscellaneous things like inverses, squares, logs, natural logs, all that kind of stuff. They're all everything's pretty much in the same spot. The D-pad is up here. All the function or the graphing buttons are all the same. I believe this one was manufactured in 1999. I found a copyright date on here somewhere, but I think it's 1999. Here's the battery pack in this one. Oops. Oh, some stuff saved in there for my math class. Anyway. Uh, once again, to turn on and off is down here. Second on is to turn off see here. All the letters are the same in the same spots, I believe. Mine, I think this might be, well, I'd say the wear is about the same almost because uh, I use this one actively. Although I may have to start using this one. I love them both. They both work incredibly. Both do the job. Do pretty much everything you could ever want them to do and more. Uh, so, very quite similar calculators, although for as different as they look, they're pretty similar. The ports on the TI-83 Plus is down here as opposed to up top. This one does not have a micro USB port, whereas this one does. So all in all, both really good calculators. Though they look different, they are not so different at all, really. But once again, great, great calculators. I'm so excited to add this to my collection. So excited. Anyway, uh, from on behalf of Lord of the Waffles 1229 and myself, we would uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.